this is Charlie Montatiella with Blue Bear Arts and BlueBearFlutes.com. Of course, uh, YouTube.com forward slash Blue Bear Arts now, I think I can tell you. But in either case, uh, I'm bringing you a video today specifically about the mini flute. Now, I've done one other kind of a, a longer version of the mini flute uh, video here to give you a, an introduction to it. But today, what I'm going to do is show you some of the techniques and things you can actually do with this little guy. And if you hear my little redbird friend singing in the background, I was practicing and warming up before we started the video and he came over to us and he actually hangs out here with me a lot where we live. But in either case, uh, let's see, what we're going to do is talk about how the flute works. It is a smaller version of Native American flutes. This one is uh, about eight and a half inches long. The little track area is very important. We use a very special leather lace on this track area to keep the, the piece tied down tight. It's actually more expensive than our other uh, leather that we use and it's a much better quality in my opinion. It's too too fine and too tiny to use on my other flutes, so I don't use it on there very often unless somebody really desperately needs it. But the track um, and the block here are so crucial, we don't want to let them slide off. And this leather lace gives a little, which makes it very stretchy and of course makes it not slide off so bad. So this actually will make a wonderful, wonderful flute for a beginning flute player or an intermediate or even a, uh, you know, a long-term flute player. It's something you can slip, of course, as I said before, in your pocket. And if you've watched my other mini flute videos that we've had, and you know anything that happens to it happens on, even though it's a small flute, happens on a big scale when we're making these. If we go a little bit too far this way or too far that way, it could just change it completely. The size of these holes, oh my gosh, I can tell you, we've tried so many different sizes to get them perfect. I think I finally settled on this 3/16 that we use now, but basically down to the plain part. Once again, I think my bird friends are wondering why I've stopped. I hear another one over here in the tree above me, but uh, uncovering all the holes is the highest note. Cover them up one at a time. And keeping them covered and making sure your fingers fit there right. They are made for people with about medium, moderate size hands. I've got some friends with big hands that have played these, and uh, the trick is, no matter how large your hands are, uh, even a child's hands, for example, may not feel these holes under their fingers. And you want to make sure that you have the holes under your fingers where you can feel them closing off with the pads of your fingers. So just a real quick little play here for you. So, one thing I can tell you about this little guy here that would help you out is that when you take your fingers off the holes, as you see mine kind of hovering above the holes, because it's a smaller flute and the holes are closer together and your fingers may not be accustomed to playing it all the time, and when they do become accustomed to it, you'll probably do the same thing I do, um, you want to just kind of have your fingers hovering above those holes. Not fully, you know, not too far off of the holes, but just enough that you can make a quick trip back down to the hole again and cover it up if you need to. But once again, you can do just about everything you can do with a larger flute with these little guys. And of course, you know, most importantly, you want to, uh, to make sure that you use a tiny bit of air. You don't want to breathe too hard through this thing. You want to use just a very light breath to play it. So. You heard me sound like I was losing air in the end, but I was actually kind of rolling my finger off of this hole down here to give it that little slur effect. Um, once again, much more elaborate on this little guy than it is on a larger flute where it's less noticeable. But uh, I did all that in one breath. So just to let you know how much air it takes, that's basically it. Uh, but in either case, like I say, you guys feel free to watch my other videos, check out our website. We have a lot more instructional information available on there these days. And we've been... Uh, doing a lot with our flutes lately so please check us out and also on Facebook if you get a chance see where we've been and what we've been doing and you can see some pictures of some of the shows we've been at and what have you uh, let me know what you think about them once you get one and uh, definitely enjoy them most importantly but this is Charlie Montatuella signing off again with Blue Bear Flutes 
and uh, thanks again for watching.